Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I've got a little bit of eye candy here. I will explain to you in a few minutes what this is all about. What I wanna do in this video is talk to you about the luxury resale market, specifically the luxury designer handbag resale market, which is kind of a niche within a niche. And I wanted to share with you some stats, some financial data around how the market's doing. And I also wanted to share with you some insight into the fashion file business, because I think it'll be kind of an interesting conversation to have. I know that many of you really enjoy my finance related videos. So I thought, why not look at these bags from the perspective of the business versus just as a customer and see if we come out of this with any kind of light bulb ahas. So before we get started, I also wanted to talk to you about just good deals, value and good deals. Um, a lot of times, many of you ask me to share my jewelry collection and I don't really do that because I've said that most of my jewelry, most of my beloved jewelry is not designer because I feel like the value in terms of the quality of jewels is not necessarily connected to brands, you know, brand name jewelry. So that's why I've been kind of hesitant. And I know that if you see my jewelry collection, you may want to purchase some of the pieces that I have. And a lot of them are custom made, so they can't be purchased. So that's why I've been sort of dragging my feet on that. But I do want to share with you this company here, Italo Jewelry. I was very excited when they reached out to me. You guys know that I rarely do sponsored videos. This video is sponsored by Italo because I looked at their website. I did my research and I decided yes they are worth talking about and I wanted to own a couple of their pieces so I'm going to share with you all the details I'm going to unbox this with you this is what the packaging looks like okay and I've received two pieces here so let me pull them out and you are going to be absolutely amazed amazed by the quality the price the value okay so let me put this down let's see why don't I show you what's here first? So you've got some paperwork, you've got a silver polishing cloth, you've got some uh, information on how they sanitize and package the items, you've got some instructions on how to make a return or exchange, you've got um, kind of like the warranty information, they have a full one year warranty on their pieces, and then the certification for their sterling silver, and then some background information. So very, very detailed, very meticulous, you guys know I love that because that is my style and then you've got a little kind of mesh bag here so which one should we start with I'll start with the big one here and I know what it is because I specifically chose these two items and I'm gonna open it up oh it opens this way and this one here is a beautiful rose gold bangle, okay? And if you're thinking, what are those stones? What are those stones? They're not cubic zirconia, okay? They're not because I'm not a fan of CZ. I'm, I'm just not. I don't think I own, yeah, I don't own any cubic zirconia. I really love my diamonds and I love my sapphires. I have many sapphire pieces. I probably haven't shown them here, um, mostly in necklaces. But this one here, this is a bracelet and it's got five white sapphires one two three four five beautiful high quality sapphires if you don't know sapphires are much much harder and sturdier and scratch resistant compared to cubic zirconia of course right and these are hand studded individually placed and what it is is 925 sterling silver okay so this is high quality st sterling silver and then it's coated and the coating here is rhodium plated so i did all my research on this this is not information that was fed to me by the brand rhodium adds extra shine and from what i can gather from my research it minimizes scratches and it is just going to make the piece much more durable it's free of mercury, nickel, and lead. So this kind of uh, bracelet is not going to change the color of your skin. It's not going to make your skin turn green. I know sometimes jewelry can do that, but this is really nice. Now the price on this, believe it or not, is like $157 or something like that. And it's on sale. And I have a promo code for 20% off. They were super generous. I always ask for promo codes for you guys. 20%. I wasn't expecting that. So I will put the promo code down below and I'll put the links to these exact items in my description box this is beautiful it has that rose gold tone to it you know that's my favorite if you've seen my other jewelry it's really subtle as you can see I'm gonna wear this the whole time in the rest of the video because just look at it it is so gorgeous all right I can go on and on but I want to open the next one 
Now this one is a smaller box and ta-da! This is a beautiful, beautiful eternity band, you guys. You're not gonna believe this. So I got this specifically for my index finger. Oh my gosh, look at the sparkle! And this is actually on a cloudy day. It's been raining. This is beautiful. Can you imagine what it's gonna look like on a sunny day outside? It sparkles just like my diamonds, like my engagement ring. Oh my gosh! So this is white sapphires again all around, again placed in 925 high quality sterling silver. I got the size 5.5 because I wanted to wear it on my index finger. If you guys watched previous video from like weeks ago, I've been obsessed with wearing a ring on my index finger. It's kind of symbolic. Um, I don't know if you guys know, this is a little bit of a tangent, but apparently wearing a ring on your index finger it represents like leadership and self-confidence and self-love because it's your pointer finger you're like guiding yourself so anyway i love that so yeah this one here it's actually over two carats in weight of white sapphires yeah and it's like i tried to count it's like over 20 sapphires in here it's going to depend on your size but for this one yeah it's got over 20 sapphires oh my gosh look at it can you see that it's even more sparkly in person but this is what it looks like through the camera and the price unbelievable the price on this is like $114 or something ridiculous with all the beautiful packaging and it's it's on sale and then on top of that you can use my 20% off promo code come on you can treat yourself you can get a gift for someone you love oh my gosh I'm in love I'm gonna wear this you're gonna see this a lot in my videos so here it is coupled together and they do free worldwide shipping, like anywhere, and because we don't want to pay for shipping, right? And they do 60-day uh, return or exchange, so that's pretty generous. And like I said, they have a one-year warranty, so they really do stand behind their products. Guys, I would not have accepted this offer to receive items and to be sponsored if I wasn't like sold myself. You guys know that. Like, How many times do I ever do sponsored videos? But i'm a sucker for good jewelry so there we have it and we're talking luxury um i mean luxury doesn't always have to break the bank luxury doesn't have to be so expensive luxury is just high quality and something that makes you feel good extra special extra you know pizzazz in your step right so i'm gonna take this little thing off here i'm gonna take it off hold on because i do want to wear this for the rest of the video and I'm happy to do a follow-up down the road if you're curious like how these pieces last and how they hold up but I actually did my own research and I went onto YouTube and I searched this brand before I responded to them and I see tons of videos of people talking about how their jewelry is holding up after like a year and it looks beautiful so yeah what do you guys think Okay, I need to move on. So let's talk about these here. The reason why I placed these specific three bags out in front of us is because these are the bags that I purchased pre-loved from Fashion File, actually, all of these from Fashion File. So this was my first purchase with them, black caviar wallet on chain, Chanel, right? Silver hardware, we've seen this, we know this bag. Uh, it was my first purchase on the secondhand market ever let alone a handbag just ever so it took a huge leap of faith for me but the authenticity guarantee along with the 30-day return window made me feel better and i've been loving this ever since you guys know i'm a huge fan of the wallet on chain then i picked up these two this is vintage six series chanel classic flap and it's the black lambskin with silver hardware it was hard for me to find this because a lot of times the black lambskin comes with the yellow gold hardware that 24k gold uh, plated hardware which is gorgeous I have I got my mom a bag like that but I, I love the silver I really love the silver so yeah this one I saved like thousands um, by purchasing it pre-loved this one I saved only about a hundred bucks or so because it was in brand new condition with tags attached but I couldn't find it in the boutiques so it was a great option for me to be able to go pre-loved and this one is the Celine classic flap medium uh, did I just say Celine classic flap Celine classic box bag medium size and it's just beautiful saved i don't know a thousand or two on that as well so 
I mean, I've become a believer in the pre-loved market as of the last few years, and I think more and more people are converting. So let me tell you a little bit about what's happening. So the Bain Consulting Group is estimating that the luxury resale market is worth about $33 billion. Fashion File in particular, let's talk about Fashion File. They started in 1999 when it was like not cool to buy things secondhand, certainly not luxury handbags. But they have been profitable every year. According to the owner, they've been profitable every year. Last year, they had 107% growth on revenue. So people were all locked up in their homes and they shopped. They shopped online and they shopped for luxury, pre loved luxury, and they shopped at Fashion File. So their revenue was over $500 million last year, okay? $500 million. You guys know that here in New York City, Fashion File opened their first storefront, and I guess, yeah, it's a store. Um, it is 60,000 square feet huge. It's down in Chelsea. They have over 15,000 bags. It's like climate controlled. Um, it's massive because I think the, the location they have in Carlsbad, California is like 30,000 square feet. So the one in New York is massive. So this like really speaks to their investment in the business and their growth, right? So I do think that the pre-loved luxury market is going to continue to grow. Is the pre-loved market growing because of the price increases or are the price increases partly due to the pre-loved market and the competition there? There's a symbiotic relationship there for sure. I think we'll all agree on that. But I do feel like there are still good deals to be had. And I'm curious what you guys think. Are you moving more towards pre-loved? Are you still kind of against it? For those of you who've never really been interested in pre-loved, are you warming up to the idea? Do you exclusively buy pre-loved? Like I would really like to know, especially because of two things. Number one, when it comes to Chanel in particular, I've just heard over and over again the last few years that many of you just have a bad taste when you think about the brand, some of the decisions that they've made, some of the price increases that they've had. So you're moving away from Chanel or you hadn't even started with Chanel, you were planning to, but because of all that has happened, you're just going to go straight pre-loved. So I'm curious to hear from you guys. And then I've also heard lately lots of conversations around how the uh, luxury experience no longer feels luxurious and there are all kinds of different schools of thought on this, but... I feel like whatever the case, you know, whether it's a handbag or whether it's a travel experience or whether you're dining or you're getting your hair done, your nails done, whatever it is, whether you're purchasing something or you're purchasing an experience, if you're expecting it to feel good, it needs to feel good. Okay, it just needs to feel good. If you're expecting that, if that's the appropriate level of expectation, whether it be quality, service, experience, what have you, if you want luxury feeling, then it should feel like luxury. And if shopping at the boutiques directly no longer feels luxurious for you, either because of the long lines or because of unpleasant sales associates, which we know there are some in every store, there are also wonderful sales associates in every store. So you know, it's it's hit or miss. Um, whether it's because you feel like you have to grovel for a bag that is so popular and everyone lines up for it and there's never any inventory or whether you're just chasing the price increases, whatever the case might be, it seems like a lot of people, I don't know if it's the majority, but I do think there are a good chunk of people that feel like luxury no longer feels luxurious. And so you're moving away. Some of you are going more towards affordable luxury. Some of you are going more towards pre-loved. And some of you are leaving designer altogether and finding like kind of up and coming brands, which I love exploring as well. And, um, you know, non-designer bags with no real brands too because sometimes you just find great things you know you pop into a boutique or you're traveling and you find something and you're like wow it has no name or you don't recognize it but it's gorgeous and it's clearly well made and you're sold right that happened to me when i was in barcelona with one of my green little book shaped bags you guys have seen I kind of feel like that about jewelry too. Like you don't need to necessarily have the brand. If you find something high quality and it's beautiful and well-made and it'll last long and makes you feel luxurious or it makes you feel a certain way, you know, dressed up, then hey, there you go. Check the box. So I would love to know what you, you think about the pre-loved designer handbag market. And are you surprised by the stats that I shared from Fashion File at all, over $500 million in revenue, 107% increase in revenue year over year. Uh, 
in 2021 like that's that's a lot that's like an explosion of growth and then the huge investment in a 60,000 square foot build out here in New York City Chelsea location with over 15,000 bags like and that's probably just part of their growth plan I don't think they're going to stop there right I don't know so let me know what you guys think also check out Italo be sure to check my description box down below for the links to these exact items because I am smitten and you can do your own research all right so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i will see you all next time bye bye